What's going on guys? I'm Skies Moon and this is another competitive sniping commentary. Um three things I wanted to talk about. Maybe it's two, I'm not really sure. I if I can remember the third I'll talk about it, but if I can't then fuck. Either way, um things I'm gonna talk about is why I was gone. Uh I guess I'll just jump right into that. The reason I was gone is because my uh my grandpa, who's like my hero, he's like the coolest, most awesome, greatest guy I've ever met. I had hip surgery, and I went to his, like, giant cottage mansion thing up in the north woods of Wisconsin, and, uh, I was taking care of him for a couple, like, a week, I think, six days, seven days, either way. Uh, I was taking care of him, and that's why I was gone, and his internet is not good enough to upload, so I, uh, I had to stockpile some videos, and hopefully you guys didn't, you guys probably didn't even notice I was gone, but, you know, hopefully you guys thought about me or something, I don't fucking know. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted you guys to know why I was gone and stuff like that. I think I might have mentioned it in the commentary. I'm not really sure. I haven't watched all of my videos in a while, so. The other thing I wanted to talk about is something that me, uh, a bunch of teammates and I, people in skies, were talking about today. And that's why we do what we do, whether it be competitive or v making videos. And I'll start off with why I make videos. Um, first of all, the person that inspired me to make videos, the first person I ever watched on YouTube as far as, like, a gameplay commentary, which is not what I wanted to do at first. But um, the first person I ever watched was Hutch. If you don't know who Hutch is, then you should probably go just type in his channel. Or I don't know how you would type in his channel if you don't know who he is. But just go type in uh, Hutch, and I'm pretty sure he'll be the first person that comes up. But uh, he used to make sniping gameplays. And I, of course, had never seen that before on YouTube. And I thought, I remember watching, let's see, him do commentaries and, like, Zergriz' montages and thinking that, like, he knew some sort of witchcraft because the bullet went straight when he hip-fired. But, uh, anyways, the reason I make videos, and I thought about this long and hard, is that I genuinely like to entertain people. I, uh, I don't really do it for likes or favorites or anything like that, and one thing that's kind of weird to me is that people are, like, really, really serious about how many subscribers they have. I, I couldn't care less. If, if I had a million subscribers and none of them liked my videos, or if I have, what do I have, I think 140-something right now? And for the most part, you guys give me decent feedback and you watch my videos and stuff, so that makes me feel like I'm actually giving you guys something that entertains you. But yeah, that's really all that matters to me. I mean, I'm not... I don't want to join FaZe or Obey or Optic or anything like that. I don't want to have a million subscribers and be internet important. I don't want to uh, get hundreds of thousands of views and make money. I'm actually just here to have fun and just fuck around. Uh, what my teammate was saying was that on Skies, we upload, not only do we upload clan, clan matches now, which is what originally Skies was all about, we also now upload uh, our YouTube team, which is what I'm on. I'm on the YouTube team. I know I upload a lot of competitive videos, so that's probably a little confusing. But, yeah, I'm on the YouTube team, and when people make episodes and stuff for that channel, they don't get the best feedback, just because the audience over on Skies Gaming isn't isn't geared towards YouTube. And I asked Octave why it was that we even, you know, upload Sims and or upload this or started doing YouTube videos, and he told us that it was because whether mo whether most people realize it or not, and if you don't realize why I'm talking about Octave and not Adapt, Adapt is no longer a leader. Uh, he uh, he actually got just so frustrated with people just being so disrespectful and hating so much that he quit, which is sad because he really is one of the coolest guys I've ever spoken to on Xbox and just an all-around solid dude. But, um, anyways, back to what Octave said. What Octave said was what most com uh, competitive players do not realize, and most of our competitive team have realized this by now, is that uh, competitive probably is not going to last forever. There are lots of people that think that getting good at competitive sniping will really get, some get them somewhere, and it will, and that it will make you a better player. I've seen people that are good at competitive go on to do awesome things. If you look at, uh... Let's see, I think he was RM rated at one point, but he's optic rated now. Oh, let's see, uh, Heist was an awesome COD4 sniper at one point. He was a sick 1v1er and he was in Jinx and all this stuff. And uh, I think FaZe Prizzy was actually Arrow Prizzy at one point, so. Yeah, but um, like I was saying, competitive really doesn't, it's just a means to an end. Honestly, if you ask me why I played competitive still, it's not only to make videos, because that really is a big part of it, it's just so I can entertain you guys. And these are the videos that get the best feedback, so. Um, the reason I play competitive now is just to keep me just keep me sharp. There is nothing 
that will make you a better player than playing against the sweatiest, uh, most aggravating, most annoying people in the entire world. I don't mean that as an insult. I mean that if you're going to play against someone and try to get better. Actually, okay. My friend, I had a friend named Brandon a long time ago. This is on Xbox, mind you. Who had a saying that the only way to get better was to play a better opponent. And I think that's true. Whether you be playing like game battles, Deserto, or uh, competitive sniping, or even in real life, the only way you're going to get better is if you challenge yourself. And that's that's why I still play comp. Um, I really don't like it very much, but there really is no better way to warm up for pubs or really anything than to try and sweat uh, a comp sniping scrim. As long as you're sniping for GB and stuff, it's kind of useless. But yeah, that's that's why I still co play competitive. I think I went over why I still make videos. Anyways, one of the things I was saying was that um, if you make videos for any reason other than entertaining people and uh, just to have fun for the most part, you're probably not, first of all, you're not going to get very far because doing something for the wrong reasons really never works out. And uh, yeah, I mean, let's face it, there are people who have the Xbox world at their fingertips and would trade it all back just to have fun again, just to join a lobby, not be recognized, maybe just not be heckled every time they try to play. Which really does suck, because I, I can't imagine coming on Xbox and not having fun. There are times when I don't enjoy it as much, but for the most part, the, the, the reason it stays fun is because I don't take it seriously. I don't think, God, I better get into Optic or Phase, or God, I better get like this many subscribers. I come on, I have fun. For the most part, right now, I uh, I don't play COD. I play, um, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon. I got Pokemon Black 2 in Japanese, which is actually really hard to play because I don't understand what the fuck the chinks are saying, but whatever. Um, and yeah, I've been playing Grand Theft Auto with my friends and just fucking around, and there's a lot of videos from that coming, by the way. And uh, yeah, I just really, I don't... If you set out to do something... I guess it's good to have goals. That was one of the things that my friend said. was if you don't have goals, you're not going to go anywhere. But if you have those goals and it's out of a misshapen, like, misguided uh, attempt to be something that really isn't you, then it's not going to work out. I mean, one thing that I said back to them is, for the most part, our, uh, our team does not upload videos to our own channel. We The only time we upload anything as far as, like, personal videos... Uh, like I or actually what I said to him was there are about four or five people that actually upload videos to their own channel. It's me, uh, Dom, who is uh, Sky's Rio. He makes really awesome Skyrim videos actually, and uh, Jin. And uh, yeah, we've all uh, actually let's see. There's also Adapt. I don't know if we can count him as in Skies anymore, but he's will always be in for me. I mean, he pretty much founded it. Um, anyways, and then there's Octave, who spends most of his time editing. Uh, Editing uh, dual tages and episodes and stuff like that, which really is like the biggest thing right there, is because he doesn't do it because he hopes he gets a lot of subs. He do it just out of a genuine like wanting to help us, which is sick because you know that's doing it for the right reasons. But uh, for the most part, our team does not upload to their personal channels unless it'll get uploaded to Sky's Gaming. And I honestly, I know that part of the reason they don't get the views they should is because it's not competitive, and most of our audience is competitive, but. I think part of it is because when you make a video and, you on, and you're only doing it because you want to get something out of it, you're not going to get the feedback you wanted. You're not going to get this many subscribers or this many, uh, this many likes or favorites. You have to be, if you're making a video and your heart and soul's not into it, you're not actually enjoying what you're doing, then it's going to show in the video. You're not going to make the best video you possibly can. And one person that was talking about this was... Um, Oh god, uh, small beats. A moody sweet. He was talking about how he can just if he's not in the mood to make a video, he won't because let's face it, if if you don't want to do something, you're not gonna. Not only are you probably not going to do it. Okay, if you do something you don't want to do, you're probably not going to put your the best effort into it, and then people won't like it, and then you'll be mad because they don't like it, and then you just you'll you'll lose motivation if you ask me. But um, I think for the most part, that's all I have to talk about. I talked about the thing with my grandpa and why I was gone. I talked about why I make videos and play competitive and stuff. And, uh, yeah. Um, if any of you have any questions or stuff, I don't know why you would. You're probably just here to listen to me rant a little bit and watch me ride my... Oh, actually, I'm not riding my host in this. Uh, if you're here to just watch me stomp people with some friends or you just want to listen to me talk and you, for some reason, have a question, feel free to ask. And, uh, if you ever see me in a game, please say hi and please don't treat me like I'm anyone different. 
Uh, I've actually met quite a few people lately who have told me that my they've seen my videos and stuff, and that really has funded me. It's because I, uh, I don't know. I For the most part, my fan base on this channel doesn't really talk to me, which kind of sucks. But to meet people, like, actually play with them and have them be like, hey, man, I've seen your videos, it's just, it's sick. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and I might have said this at the beginning. I'll have to go look. But shout out to Dat Pong and Feature Moko for playing a clan tag team with uh, Skies Titan and I and just being all around cool dudes. That was really fun to play with you guys. And unfortunately, Moko lagged out. But, um, yeah, hopefully I'll play with you guys again soon. And, yeah, you got, um, as far as the video goes, you guys take it easy. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll have another video like this in a while. Maybe it'll be COD 4. I'm actually thinking about doing COD 4 live comps just because those kind of sound appealing because I don't think I've ever seen a COD 4 comp sniping live comp. I've seen like one or two MW2 and MW3 ones since I started doing these, but for the most part people that play COD 4 are playing it because uh, they either can't afford a new game, which is sad, or they uh, can't move on, which is even sadder. So um, hopefully COD 4 sometime this week. Um, I actually have a leftovers thing that's like two maybe three clips from being edited. Wow, I got wallbang there. It's like two or three clips from being edited, so uh, that's soon. And um, one thing about the end of this gameplay, uh, my friend Titan was host, and he decided to be an asshole and end it before we could uh, get the cap away from them. So uh, technically, we kind of forfeit this match, I guess would be the way to put it. I don't know, but Titan's an asshole. Um, hopefully that doesn't ruin the gameplay for you. I know you guys are really serious about how good I am and stuff, so yeah. Anyways, take it easy, dicks.